Today, Kevin and I have kind of an assortment of candies to try for you. We have the original Lemon Head Lemon Candy, uh, which are older than me, and uh, Chewy Mr. Melon Watermelon Candy. Which have probably also been around for a long time. Probably, but I've never had these. I've had Lemon Head years and years ago, but I've never had yeah. the watermelon. And then uh, the trolley, these are the Sour Bright Mystery Nightcrawlers. So the trolley were $2.11 at a local gas station called Gasoline Alley. The boxes were $1.69 each at Walgreens. And like I said, the lemon heads have been around forever and I, I, I haven't had them in years and years, but I don't think we've ever had them on the channel. You probably remember your first box of lemon heads, those cute little yellow things you popped into your mouth delivered a tart burst that slowly dissolved into a beautiful sweetness. A candy experience like no other. Don't you remember? Of course you do. And we still make original lemon heads with the same process because as your memory proves, there's nothing like the original. 10 pieces is 50 calories. And these are made by Ferrera, www.ferrerausa.com, product of Mexico. So, um... I never let mine dissolve in my mouth. No. Ever. But, they have like a softer, kind of sugary outside with yes. a layer, and then the inside is like a little hard candy. They, um, That's my memory, at least. Now, see, I thought they were softer on the inside. No, candy. see, I, okay. I'm pretty sure that That's why I need to try them again. Um, when I was young, they came in little boxes. And you could get these in the Red Hots, and they were like 10 cents a box. Oh, the little bitty ones. Yeah, yeah a little they bit were little. like little nerds boxes. Yeah, like, like the size of a nerd. Well, box. it was a smaller than a. Well, oh, I see. You're talking a about little bitty, bitty, like they yeah. give out for trick or treat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were like, yeah, ten cents a box or something. No, I did just now like I do. Did when I was a kid. Wow. Still sour. The sour goes away pretty quick though, and you left the sweet. I like it, but it's like it's tart. It's yeah. a punch in the it puts a punch in your teeth. It sure does. And it's if you, good. If you get a really good one, you can kind of take your teeth, your front teeth, and like break just the soft outside mm -hmm. and peel it off and just eat that. And then you've got the hard candy in the middle. They don't all come apart that easy. I really love the texture. Oh yeah, the texture is wonderful. And a, even after all these years, even though it does like uh, give you kind of a jolt. Um, they're still really, really mm -hmm. good. They're very good. Um, the, the your jaws like fill up right at first when you first like oh, yeah. eating it. They kind of like go right. They tingle. This is the uh, yeah, Mr. I've never had these. Uh, Mr. Melon Chewy Chewy Watermelon Candy. Yeah, they never had these in our area. Yeah, at um, least, I mean, they may have, they may be a fairly newer thing, but I don't. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. Uh, the candy that launched a million childhoods, 1908. That's yeah. the name of this candy company, 1908 Candy Company. Um, so it's probably been around for a while, we just didn't have Yeah, it. <laughs> so this is, this is Ferrera. This is 1908 Candy Company. And this one is a product of the USA and Canada. Um, it says, uh, the candy that launched a million childhoods, 1908, is bringing back your favorites and they're better than you remember. From when he was a seedling, Mr. Mellon has only cared about two things, jamming and snacking. Uh, through sheer grit and watermelon power, he's managed to launch his passions into worldwide stardom. Pop some Mr. Mellon into your mouth and turn up the volume. 22 pieces is 140 calories. So... And they sell the. We tried those Alexander grape ones, and we tried something else with those Alexander grape ones, and now I don't remember. But they also had this one, and they have like a cherry one, I think. And we've never seen those cherry in our area. And you, we only saw these at a random Walgreens. Oh, they're in a package. A random Walgreens. So it's not like you can get these everywhere around here. So. Uh, who knows when, if ever, we'll get those cherry ones. And those Alexander Grape things, you don't see those. I mean, that's something, it's just, you just don't see these, those around here. Oh, wow. These are going to be watermelon. They smell <laughs> like, is it, um, is it Jolly Ranchers that kind of 
Or Jelly Bellies, I'm thinking of. You're going to love that. Is it Jolly Ranch or Jelly Bellies that smell like that? Maybe the Jelly Bellies. I don't know. Hmm. It's like a jelly bean. It's better than a jelly bean. It is thicker coating on the outside. It's softer than a jelly bean. Mm -hmm. It's That's easier brilliant. to eat than a jelly bean. It does remind you of a jelly bean. You remind you of jelly bean, but easier. Mm. That's really good. So I like, a jelly bean has a, a a chew to it. There's a there's a chewiness. Yeah, I agree. This this is softer. It's so soft, and the flavor is like. It's candy watermelon to the max. <laughs> oh, it's, I love, I'm crazy about the texture. That's very, very good. So There's good. a listing on the side of the chicken flavor. Oh, good. Okay. We had the apple. That was it. That was Johnny Apple. I think it was, his name was Johnny. So we had Alexander Grape and the Johnny Apple. And then the cherry is one that we just won't get around here. Oh. I, I don't know why. Um, it literally tastes like I've eaten a watermelon. Oh, it's awesome. Where the lemon head, I like the lemon head, but the lemon head is very crunchy until you, um, you start chewing it up. This is just so soft and easy to eat. Oh, yeah. You could pop 10 of those things in your mouth and just, it's just awesome. It's really, really good. I like yeah. the thicker outside coating too. So, yeah. yeah, I love really that texture. If you've never had those and you can find them, uh, that's the thing is can you find them? Uh, I, I really, really like that. Okay, so now these are a mystery. So we just don't even know what we're getting into here. Can you guess Trolley? Sour Bright Mystery Night Crawlers. Uh, Sour Bright Mystery Night Crawlers, mind blowing, mouth tongue, uh, mouth mystifying, tongue puzzling. Can you guess? They'll make you say, What the flying flavor? <laughs> two, <laughs> two mysterious flavors in each crawler. Uh, go to trolley.com, eight pieces, 100 calories. Okay. What the flying flavor? <laughs> I like how they, they make plays on nasty words. Oh, is that what they were doing? Is yeah. that what you think? Uh, yeah. It, that smells, okay. It's the, not flavor, it's the other word. Okay. Ashley makes these pixie stick martinis. Yeah. This smells. Like those? Just smell it. I never had one, so I don't know. You never drank one? No. Oh, I didn't know that. No. no. Oh, well, they're awesome. <laughs> um, no, I never drink one. They're wonderful. But that smells just like a pixie stick martini. Weird, I know, random, but it's just the truth. Uh, okay. I would just pick a different color, but they're random, so who knows? Oh, you don't think both of the red and white ones are going to be the same? Maybe. We could try. Are all the white ones going to be the same? Are you going to try the. Okay. Oh, what? It figures. What? What's your white one taste like? It tastes like a peach or mango. That's why I said it figures. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it seems like. I don't know what that rubbing was. All of the red and white ones are going to be the same. It seems like it because yeah. you got one. I don't know what that red part was. I have no clue. I got overwhelmed by the peachy mango flavor that it just wiped out whatever other red is. Do you think it's pineapple? <sighs> no, I don't literally have no clue. So it could be a tropical one. If I had to guess, I would say the red would be pineapple. Or like something I said, it's like so that. covered by the mango and flavor. And then that white is a mango peachy flavor. Yeah. Now, is the, Great. is, okay, try the white again and see if it's that same. No, it's the wrong. The apple? I think it is, but I'm wondering if it's not coming off the green I didn't part. Green I green. didn't either, but because it's so light. Definitely a different flavor. Ooh, what is that? Something really funky. It is funky. This is like a punk bag. Yeah, that's almost, it's very tart, uh -huh. very acidic. And I don't know what it is. Grapefruit, maybe? It's, it's some... Uh, it's, Could it be grapefruit? It's definitely a fruit uh, that's that uh, one of those that... Um, 
it's not peach, it's not mango, but it could Passion be. Fruit. It could be, yeah, it's something like that. It's yeah. not a, like a okay, avoid the green orange or cherry or strawberry. It's not one of those lighter fruits uh, with the good flavors. <laughs> um, okay, so the blue. Let me get this one that's straight. But it seems like all the colors are the same. So all the blues are the same, all the greens mm -hmm. are the same, all the roman's the same. Yeah, because we're agreeing. Mm -hmm. No, that's, oh gosh, that's the worst one. That's like mango. Mm -hmm. We're back to the mango again, but it's intensified. Gosh, that's bad. I think the first one was peach. This is mango. Yeah, yeah. Because the peach was not bad. It was just like... Ugh. Right, so the red one it was probably the peach one, and this one would be the mango. Hmm. That's pineapple. That is pineapple. I wonder what that other one was then. Uh, that was that, the only one I liked out of the whole thing is the blue. Oh, well, I wouldn't eat that again because it had that funkiness. No, this is the blue part. Oh, just the blue. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd bite all the blue things off and leave the entire bag by itself. Yeah, that was uh, $2 that, uh, yeah. Well, there was two of them that had that peachy funky, the peachiness. The green one was just funky. I don't even know what it was. No. They're, um, they're not good. No, they're just not worth it. No, I, I would not. Uh, I would not. Uh, if they'd pick, good. if they'd big mystery out of regular flavors, like cherry, grape, you know, if they'd done regular flavors and they'd been mystery, I probably would have enjoyed good flavor, them. Sweet flavors. Yeah, I would have enjoyed them a lot more. These, the but flavors they picked. They picked all the funky ones. Uh, that's just not they picked me. all the, the, the citrusy type yeah. of. Yeah, uh, and melons. And yeah, and I, yeah, that, that just, uh, to me, that is a, I would not buy that again yeah. back. Now you, if those flavors sound good to you, then get it, because you're going to love it. They, they did a good job with those. It's just not, those aren't flavors we want or candy. Nope. So, I personally, if I had to pick one box, it would be that melon. The watermelon. I right. just love They're the flavor, good. the texture, everything. But then those lemon heads are classic lemon heads yeah. i don't think they taste any different than they did when i ate them back no, in the, the the late 70s no. i think it's the same thing exact same thing yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching